Okay, another movie review for you. This is La Not, The Night, um, released in 1961, directed by Michelangelo Antonioni, and it stars uh, in the lead roles. Jean, Jean Moreau plays Lydia. Uh, Marcello Mastroianni plays Giovanni. Uh, and uh, Monica Vita plays Valentina. And Bernard uh, White plays Tommaso. Uh, and there are obviously a lot other supporting cast. Um, in black and white, Antonioni is one of those Italian directors, infamous now uh, since his passing, who uh, have got a, a very good reputation for uh, offering us sort of uh, new wave type cinema. Uh, from Italy, along with Bertolucci and uh, uh, Fellini. Um, and I'm trying to get into him. Um, and with this movie, I have to say that it took some time. Um, in the early stages of this movie, um, I was trying to get to know these characters. Um, the, the script seemed a little bit uh, rigid, uh, not very flamboyant in its use of language. Uh, the char characters were quite uh, chiselled and uh, it took me some time. Um, the plot, well, there isn't too much of one. We, we uh, arrive uh, at the uh, movie when, uh, with Lydia and Giovanni having arrived at the hospital uh, to see one of their close friends, Thomas Somi, Tom, Tommaso, who's uh, clearly uh, dying uh, from a terminal disease. He's received an injection for morphine. And uh, Giovanni is a writer. He, that's his trade and that's his industry. And clearly Tommaso is, is also involved in that particular industry. Um, the uh, initial f uh, scenes are quite... Uh, uh, affecting and uh, Lydia finds it difficult to handle and has to leave she can't cope with the aspect of pain that Tommaso is in, in is feeling and uh, she also has problems getting to grips with his likely uh, mortality um, we then fi find them uh, disappearing eventually from the hospital and uh, we witness them uh, on the streets of Milan and uh, uh, Lydia uh, witnesses a, a fight between two youths and she intervenes to prevent one of them getting a really serious beating and uh, it's clear that she's quite a vulnerable character who doesn't enjoy uh, conflict or violence at all uh, uh, Giovanni is her boyfriend. He's much more matter-of-fact and takes things in his stride. Um, there's various discussions that they share as a couple. Wealth crops up. Uh, and uh, uh, we then proceed to the pair of them trying to decide uh, what to happen with the evening. And... Uh, Firstly, they end up in a a sort of club, a nightclub, which has uh, performers, and there's this uh, extremely att attractive um, negress uh, and her uh, partner, who's a negro, who are dancing in a very uh, sexual way, and... Uh, uh, oh. At the nightclub, as I said, uh, they witness this show from these two uh, ne Negro Negresses that's uh, rather um, sensual, I would say, but also they are quite talented in terms of uh, at their acrobatic show. Uh, but uh, Lydia gets bored with this and suggests uh, that they move on. Uh, to Giovanni's surprise, and they then uh, go to a, a, a party, a party for a rather sort of rich 
uh, well-to-do uh, aristocratic uh, Milan, uh, Milanos, and uh, uh, it's being thrown by a, a millionaire businessman, and uh, he wants Giovanni uh, to write a book about the history of his company. Uh, that really doesn't take up too much time, but we see the couple sort of separate and start to get interested in uh, alternatives. Um, Giovanni uh, starts to become very keen on the attention of Valentina, played by Monica Vitti, who's younger than Lydia and certainly uh, dressed very sexually. Uh, and Lydia... Uh, is followed by a mysterious male and also s shows uh, s some sort of interest um, and seems quite at ease with Giovanni's uh, periods of time out of sight. Um, and it's at this point in the movie that I really started to get into it. I started to get into the notion of the use of the camera, the direction uh, and how... Uh, close-ups were being used by Antonioni in an, a very effective way and he also had uh, he was able to uh, direct in such a way to illustrate the importance of shadow in the night uh, and uh, owed something I felt to Hitchcock's use of shadow and sort of a uh, uh, field of uh, long field, uh, field of focus, etc. And uh, also the characters came alive more when they were being uh, how, uh, flirting with these uh, two alternatives. It then comes to the point where it's time to leave as uh, dawn appears and then Ly Lydia um, confesses to Giovanni that she feels that their love... A marriage is coming to an end, and we witness her reading a poem uh, to Giovanni. And, and after it's read, it's a very, it's a very sort of uh, love love wrenched poem. And after she's finished, Giovanni asks her who who wrote that, and she tells him that it was him, and that sort of tends to lead to the closing credits and the movie closes. Now this was regarded as one of Antonioni's uh, top films and I can see the appeal. It just looked, took so long to get going and I think it was because the, the characters at that point were a little bit lacking in emotion. They were very much into uh, uh, true statements, but not not exhibiting a great deal. But nevertheless, it's 1961, it's La Not, and it's my movie review.